Welcome to Update 10.10, .10, a palindrome of double-digit goodness and a rare ticket to celebrate as per usual. Interestingly, there doesn't seem to be any update information in the news, but it is down here. And indeed, I have some things to tell you. No new Uncanny Legends map has been added, but there have been some magnification changes to the Uncanny Legends. Although we now have to negotiate this within the form of crowns, we now notice that three stars have made their way to the green stages on the first three. A new legend, Hibby Dragons, and a Endless Wood, which even I have access to and will not be trying in three star for a significant length of time. Two star has also made its way through some more of the Uncanny Legends subchapters. I'm sure players will be chasing after it in a desperate bid to make life difficult for themselves. In other very standard news, we have some new user rank rewards, and the user rank rewards this time around are okay. They're all right, actually. A little bit better than some of the stuff that's been given for these late number rewards. Probably quite a good balance. Nothing too game-breaking, but actually a bit more befitting of the later game player. There's been a bit of a shifty around. In the third subchapter specifically, John Ghoul has received an easement in its difficulty. How intriguing. Not that you'd be able to see it here, but Aku Outbreak stages have been nerfed. Oh my god, you guys just can't handle it, can you? There have been significant reductions in magnification of some of the Aku enemies there. I personally, at this point, have no context on whether that's needed or not, so feel free to discuss at length in the comments section. There is now a growing Aku stage, which requires some Aku stage beating in order to access it, but this is now another way to access the Aku cat fruit seeds that were added in 10.9. And currently JP only, an entirely new, albeit special edition, item, Golden Carrots, which you can get from the Japan Racing Association event, where you do some jockeying, basically, and get yourself some Golden Carrots. You roll those golden carrots and they allow you to get three new jockey units, which look, well, really rather jolly. And quite interestingly, those units are then the only units that you can use against a new set of enemies. They are called wind enemies. Ooh. Bit gusty. Put those three jockeys together and you find yourself with a cat combo, a speed up M. There are some new cat combos joining them as well, featuring Lil Cats, Dance a Little, Eat a Little for a slow effect up, Tiny Ancient Hunt for unit attack up, and Etoile Minimum for unit defense up. All smalls, but they're little units, so what do you expect? Along with the Aku focuses in this update are some new Aku enemies, and to counter them, there are some new Ubers in existing banners, that being two new anti-Aku Iron Legion Ubers. And a new Elemental Pixies Uber, Yami, which is also anti-Aku. Lilith Cat now has a cat fruit true form that uses some of that Aku fruit and gains itself some anti-Aku abilities. Sticking with units then, the final place we're going to be going to are talents! And you've got talents on the true form of Detective Vigler, Section Chief Gravici, as well as, rather excitingly for me, Weed Whacker Cat. They now allow it to target Aku so that it can use its freezing, spinny, scythe goodness on those enemies. Probably very useful. There's also Resist Surge, Resist Slow, Defense Buff, and Attack Buff. Again, these two being from 2 to 20% increase, depending on the level you've unlocked with NP. And that does it for the permanent fixtures of update 10.10. .10. Not a massive one, but a little bit of rebalancing in it, adding a little more flesh to the very extensive and complicated corpus of the Aku. I bid you goodbye, and I hope you enjoyed.